Hey Internet, Agent Otter here. I just got back from picking up all of my pre-orders. Uh, it was a little bit more uh, in size than I thought. Wish I would have had somebody with me to help me carry it. But, as you can see, I got just about everything. Um, I picked up a copy of Zelda. I got the Deluxe Edition, extra Joy-Cons, Pro Controller, uh, Bomberman, and the Switch itself. Guardian Amiibo, uh, Rider Amiibo, and the other one is right here. So I can't say it from where I'm at. Uh, the Archer Amiibo. I'll be uh, taking a closer look at these later, so I'm just going to set these off to the side for now. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and open up the box for the Switch. I, uh, I got to hold one yesterday, uh, Nintendo rep was putting up the display at Walmart and I gotta say I was super excited and now that I've got it here in front of me, I am just kidding the candy store. So let's take a look at what we got here. So we open it up and we have this top tray that has the Switch and the Joy-Cons itself. Wrapped in some protective plastics, which is nice. Now when uh, I ended up getting both colors sets of Joy-Cons because when the pre-orders were going on they had a glitch with the system that was only letting them do the colors. Um, they look better than they do on the box actually. Um, more vibrant. Uh, wow, this thing is actually a lot smaller than I remember. Um, across the top we have power, volume, air vent, headphone jack, and the slot for the game cards. Um, on the bottom there's just a single USB-C charging port. Um, and then on the back is the infamous kickstand. Um, it's actually a lot more solid feeling than a lot of the reviews I've seen so far. But there we go. That's the Nintendo Switch. And here we have the Joy-Con controllers. They just they fit real nice in my hands here. Um, it feels pretty good. Uh, this this thumbstick here is kind of in a weird spot to me, but uh, my my thumb rests on it right here instead of on the tip of it. But doing that lets me hit the buttons at the same time so that's that's kind of nice so across the face here we have uh, a B X Y plus uh, the stick the home button and then on the other side we have minus the joystick and then we have up down left right arrows uh, and then over here on the sides we have uh, L and R so when you hold them sideways you have L and R buttons and then on the top we have the LR and ZR buttons and then these just slide in like so uh, also included in the box are Joy-Con uh, 
rails, grip rails, they just make them a little bit bigger and have the shoulder buttons on the along the top a little more pronounced so when you're holding them sideways they're a little more comfortable and easier to use. and safety information pamphlet. Don't need that. Um, oh, yes. So, you can use the Joy-Cons along the switch itself, or you pull these off. And attach them right here. And you have a normal, well, more normal looking controller. Uh, I know it looks kind of weird, but it's actually a lot more comfortable to hold than I thought it would be um, in this kind of blocky form. The, uh, the grips really, really help with that. I mean, it, it feels nice. I can reach all the, all the buttons. Um, the other thing is the, the grip that comes with it uh, is just a grip. It doesn't charge them. So if you want to charge them, you have to put it on the switch itself to charge. But that's not a big deal. Cat, get down from there. Sorry. Uh, HDMI cable, power adapter. Doesn't have a giant brick on it, which is kind of nice. Although it won't really looks like it'll fit in. Uh, but yeah, just standard wall deck, and then on the other end is a USB. Cat, get down from there! And last thing in the box is. Nice. All right, the last thing in the box is the switch dock. Um, it's pretty solid. Two USB ports on the side. So you put the switch in the cradle here. On the back, you fold down this little door, which is nice. It tucks in and hides your uh, cables. Another. Uh, USB 3 port on the back, power adapter here, HDMI here. And so you can just slide this down in here, and then you're playing the game on the TV. Wow, that was a lot of stuff. Uh, it's a nice box. I'll probably hang on to that for a while. This side of the way here. All right. Now for something a little more special. The deluxe edition of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I am so excited to play this game. Um, back of the box, uh, I guess, is just a bigger bit of the splash from the smaller box like this one. Um, Let's let's dig in. Uh, you know what? I should have got a knife before I did this. And those scissors roll. Well.
Sorry about that. I'm back. Let's get this. Here we have the carrying case for the Switch that came with the deluxe edition of the game. And I dumped everything out upside down. Um, awesome. So here we have the game, the special map that it came with, the collector's coin, and underneath the game we have a copy of the soundtrack. I cannot wait to listen to that in the car. Really gorgeous box art with all of the Zelda stuff so far. I'm very happy with it. Can I say you could fall out of there? Get back in here. And here's the box for the game itself. All right, you're just gonna fall out of there. That's fun. Apparently, the map wants me to give you guys a closer look. So we're going to take a look at that. Now this is the same map that they streamed a little bit of during the Treehouse preview, if you recall. And it is just beautiful um, it's not made of paper it feels kind of more feels like a, a shelf liner actually um, it's really smooth uh, kind of more like a vinyl texture to it And here is the collectible coin. It's kind of small. It's the same coin that they were giving away to the press people at E3 last year. And uh, the same ones that were selling for like $100 a piece on eBay directly after. So here's a Last look at the album. I wonder what the CD itself looks like. Bear with me. And here is a look at the disc. Looks like it has about uh, 20 tracks on here. That uh, That's going to be a lot of music. To listen to but I'm gonna enjoy that on my way to work tomorrow and let's get this box open
We're getting there, slowly but surely. There we go. Clean that up later. Wow, there's no book. All right, that's uh, that's interesting. The inside of the case uh, has features some more artwork. It looks very pretty. And here we have the game card itself. Nice and tiny. Now, reportedly today, the people who got review copies of this, someone decided to uh, lick this and they say it tastes very bad. So I'm not going to do that because I'm just going to take their word for it. Also interesting, it kind of kind of rattles a little bit when you shake it. That's that's a little concerning to me, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I hope. God, I hope that's not broken. Okay, well, I'll find that out later and keep you guys posted. So that is everything in that section of the box. How do we open this? zipper with the uh, Shika eye symbol embroidered into it. So on the inside we have looks like we have a pocket for the switch here and then uh, you can fit three, six, nine, 12 game cards in here. So that's going to be nice. And then over here we have, uh, well, there's a sticker labeling it earbuds and accessories. So I guess that's what goes there. Right. I'm definitely very glad and very lucky to have gotten this. Um, about only four people in the store that I pre-ordered the game actually got one of these. And uh, the main reason I got it is, well, it's, it's Zelda. I always try and get the collector's edition of any Zelda game that comes out. But the fact that it came with an actual carrying case for the Switch itself uh, was a real seller. And also it's hard panel, so that's nice. It's a really nice case. Uh, I'm sure I'll get a lot of use out of it. And that is everything. From that box. Let's set that off to the side. Oh, um, before I forget, they also gave me this really nice double sided poster featuring uh, some of the game art. On um, this side, we have the box art, and on this side, we have. A uh, real nice big picture of Link wielding a bow. I'm not sure which one of these I want to put up on the wall, but uh, that's a problem for another time, isn't it? Here we have the gray color Joy-Con box. The tiny little box that they come in, but that's good. It's the uh, same size. Oh, darn it. Need to cut that open too. Okay, one second. Anything else I need to cut? These. Okay, here we go.
about that. Let's see what's in the box. If I can get it open. There we go. Two more Joy-Con grips, a left and right Joy-Con in the gray color. I really like the gray, and it looks really classy. Uh, the red and blue ones look pretty good too, but I think I prefer the gray, personally. So, you can hold the Joy-Con sideways and use it as a controller in itself. And when you're doing that, you can slide this on. I put it on backwards, didn't I? That's not good. Oh, lock. Shit. Hey, look at that. Had it for 15 minutes and we broke the damn thing. For future reference, do not put these on upside down. You will have a bad time. I did not know you could do that. Uh, have to find a way to get that off of there. Okay, got it off. Now let's put this on the right way and hopefully it'll be a lot easier. There we go, that looks better. Um, so you can tell which one is which. Uh, there's a little plus icon on here that lines up with the plus on the face and there's also a minus on the other side so um yeah don't don't do that so this little uh little rail has a it's got a lock on it so it won't come sliding off while you're aggressively playing which is nice um this actually feels pretty comfortable uh to hold it's a little weird having this right here in the middle, but it's not uncomfortable to do. Oh, hi cat. My cat wanted to be in the video, guys. Okay, you're cute. Get down. Down. Off the table. Thank you. Uh, also has a wrist strap with an uh, adjustable so you can go swinging it around playing motion controls without it flying into your TV or somebody's face. Okay, next up we have the Switch Pro Controller. Uh, I actually got to put my hands on this the other day. Um, this is the most comfortable controller I've ever held.
comes with a USB-C charging cable. And it's got some nice, oh, here we go. Protective plastic for the shiny bits here. So along the top, we've got LR and ZR and the USB port. Uh, along the face, we've got the joystick, the standard D-pad, plus, minus, uh, screenshot, home, YX, AB, second joystick, and wow, this thing just feels so nice to hold. Um, it, this does have the HD rumble features. Uh, oh, also along the top we have the sync button, and along the bottom here you have the status light, uh, also the controller number. That feels really nice. And last but certainly not least. Bomberman R. I was, I kind of wanted to get a multiplayer game, but I wasn't sure which one to get. Um, I was leaning towards ARMS, and I looked at 1-2 Switch, but that one, uh, that one was a little too weird for me. So, I went with Bomberman. Uh, it's in the classic Super Nintendo style. Um, well, obviously with, uh, with 3D graphics instead of 2D. Um, so inside we have some buttons and outside we got some nice box art and the game card itself. This one doesn't rattle. Okay. Across the back here on the Joy-Cons, there's this uh, little black button that you use to release. At first, I thought it was the plus and minus, but those are actually buttons that you can use in-game. Wow, those, those do not come off easy. Let's see if it has enough power out of the box to turn on. Yes, it does. Ooh, fancy. my Wi-Fi password.
zone. Attach from the console. Okay. Synced that quickly. Neat. The uh, new user setup menu, you can choose your profile icon. I'm gonna go with the sword and shield, because classic. me to insert a game card. Oh, it identified the game. That's kind of a good sign. I don't think it's entirely broken. All right. Well, that is it for the unboxing of the Switch and Zelda. I'm going to set this to the side for a minute and show you the amiibo I got for Breath of the Wild. Uh, here is Rider Link. Uh, each one of the amiibo that are themed for the game, I think there's six or eight of them total, unlock special equipment in the game when you use them. And here's Archer Link. Uh, this one appears to give you a really nice looking bow, if I can believe the locks are on the back here. Um, and this one looks like it gives you a horse and a sword. And here we have the largest amiibo ever. The Guardian amiibo is also the first uh, fully well, not fully, but it's articulated, so you can pose it however you want. And uh, it looks like the legs can bend into just a straight line or into any other kind of shape that you want. Uh, looks like this one gives you some special crafting items and arrows. So that would be cool to play with later. Alright, well... That is it for me for the night. I'm going to go play Zelda. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one.